Hello, this is channel Easy Self Host. In this channel, we talk about how to self host software or services on affordable hardware like Raspberry Pi, old laptops, or even routers, or on low cost cloud services and SaaS products. In this first ever Easy Self Host video, I'm going to show you what stuff I actually run on my own Pi server in my home. First, I have a personal DNS solution. Starting with Pyho, a very popular DNS server that helps you block ads. It comes with this nice web UI that lets you customize what domain names you want to block. It even comes with a nice feature that you can customize your own DNS record. But I don't think Pyho alone is enough for me because DNS by default is in plain text. So people outside your home network can see what domain names you are looking for if they really want. To solve this, I run DNS creep to increase my DNS lookups using DNS over HTTPS. We can then customize Pyhole to use DNS creep as upstream. That's all for my DNS. I also run a HTTP proxy server, Nginx, but writing Nginx rules is not fun. That's when I came across Nginx Proxy Manager, which lets you control Nginx through a web app, like adding a proxy rule to a web service. And because I want to enable HTTPS for my home web server, it's really helpful that this web app lets you acquire a Let's Encrypt certificate for your own domain names through DNS challenges. And then you can enable HTTPS for your proxy host through a few mouse clicks. With a secure web server, I can safely run a password manager in my home. For this, I run Vault Warden, a Bitwarden variant that is a lot easier to self-host. And then we can use any Bitwarden clients and customize the server URL to my home Vault Warden server. Since the password vault is downloaded on device, I can use my password manager outside home network and synchronize with the server when I get home. Other than these services, I'm continuing to add more stuff to my Pi server, like a self-developed scripting called Backpack that backs up my server data to the cloud every day with special handling logic for database files that may between a write transaction. In the following videos, I'll show you step-by-step step how to host these services and configure them in your home server. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.